Hey guys, uh, just a quick look at the Peru high voltage lead drivers. Just got in some uh, samples to test. So we brought in some 250 watts, 200, 185, and 150 watt devices, all at 1400 milliamp, all dimmable. Um, we're testing these with a 0 to 10 dimmer, but they'll equally work with uh, resistive pots. Um, on the same outputs. Uh, well constructed aluminium, uh, all IP67 and they come with a five year warranty. Okay, let's have a look. So we're testing uh, three 3590 cobs and 3500 Kelvin on Mechatronics heat sinks. Spin fink cooler, an active lead cooler, and one of Mechatronics modulated LSP 9980s. Uh, these are all attached with ideal holders, and uh, we have these wired up to the 150 watt. Up. This is the little wall plate, 0 to 10 dimmer, and they're wired in series. So we're going to extend the 150 watt pretty much to its maximum output. The wall plate dimmer, 0 to 10 is pretty good, won't dim to 0, but it will dim to approximately 10%. And uh, during testing, these work pretty well. No real problems. Had to turn down the, uh, adjust the camera a little bit. I didn't want to blast it with too much light, so the background's a little dark. Gives you a good idea. While we had it wired up, we thought we'd try an alternate drive topology. So we used some. So using the Meanwell LDD drivers on a carrier board. Um, pros of this approach is you get a lower voltage on the heatsink. Uh, it's pretty easy to add more drivers by dropping them in the carrier. You can control each each drive channel, so you can color mix. And of course, you just need to add an extra driver to expand the system. Does have a salty higher upfront cost, it's got more wiring as you're wiring independent, independently, um, and you do need to have a constant voltage source to drive the LDDs. So, some additional um, componentry, but it does give you a lot more um, flexibility uh, over the entire system build. Okay, so this is the LDD5. Uh, holds five meanwhile LDDs, BWM outputs, um, up to 90 watts per chip, and these are available up to 1.5 amp. Um, so um, the idea with these is that the, the PWMs work in concert with the controller, such as the Storm X LED controller. These have PWM outputs, Arduino compatible, uh, 16 channel, 12 bit. And you also have a fan control. Let's have a look at it. So here we've taken the pin fin heat, heat sink with one LDD on the carrier. Uh, the storm has up to 4,000 steps of dimming, so we've got very, very smooth dimming um, all the way from zero to, to 4,000. Um, and as you can see here, um, lots of control. Sorry about the little ballast lines uh, on the T8s. Um, all in all, um, very flexible, very controllable uh, solution at, at DC.